Hi, I'm Lil and these are some things. <laughs> Today I'm going to talk about pet peeves because something set me off and I just wanted to see who could relate or commiserate. I just think everyone's pet peeves are just really interesting so I wanted to share some of mine. 1. Awkward silence. I hate awkward silence. How do I explain this? It's like I will avoid one-on-one -on -one meetings and conversations because I want to avoid the even possibility of having an awkward moment. It's like painful. It feels like someone's driving a dagger into my soul. Is that awkward? You know? Two, people who sit next to you on public transportation, especially when um, the bus or the subway is empty. Why? 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 That makes no sense to me. Don't you want your space? Because I sure as hell want mine. I don't know you. Get away, please. Ugh, don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Don't. That's me in my head the whole time that we're sitting next to each other. Just. Why and don't talk to me. Similarly, oh my god, similarly, people who take the stall next to you in bathrooms, in empty bathrooms, mind you, like, there are seven stalls. You're gonna sit next to me while we pee. If there was no wall here, I could hold your hand and do this. I wouldn't because that's weird, but that's how close you are right now. And I don't wanna know what you had for lunch. That's, that's, that's me time, why? Number three, people who don't use turn signals. One, it's very dangerous. Two, it's annoying as hell. Why wouldn't you use that device in your car that lets everyone know exactly where you're going? For like the safety of others and for the general well-being of the road. Like why? Why wouldn't you do that? Of course you wouldn't, because you're a Use your turn signals, god damn. Four, people who have read receipts on their phones for text messages and still don't answer your text. If you have a read receipt on your phone and you don't answer me, it's like this, like you saw that I texted you, you read my text, you know I know you read my text, and you still actively ignored my existence. That is some nerve. Just, just answer my text. Number five, anyway versus anyways. I found out the hard way when I was typing my essay in seventh grade that anyways isn't actually a word. The little red squiggly line popped up underneath it. I was so embarrassed, like personally embarrassed at myself that I didn't know that this wasn't a word, that I felt that it was my purpose in life to tell everyone this. So I went on a crusade of sorts and I messaged everyone. You can ask my friends. I messaged people and I told them very out of the blue that anyways wasn't a word. Oh, I, I hate when celebrities use anyways because it's just like, how did you get to this position in life? that you're in and use the word anyway. Oh, I hate it. Oh, and also in print. Don't use it in print. Like if you're publishing something, don't use anyways. It sounds dumb. So, yep, now you know. Now I can continue my crusade on the interwebs. Six, people who look flawless after a workout. How? That is just not fair to all womankind. It's just not fair. Like I will go to the gym and look like I ran a marathon afterwards, regardless of whether or not I ran like at all. So by you being able to, you know, like walk out of the gym and go to a photo shoot afterwards is just not fair. It's not fair. Don't do it. Take off your makeup. I hate you. <laughs> Guys, don't talk to me at the gym. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I look crazy. The fact that you think I look good enough to talk to right now. Says something about you um, in my head. I look like I just went through a rainstorm. I don't feel attractive at all. Don't talk to me. Don't do it. Seven, working after hours. There's nothing worse than getting a text or a call or an email at like eight o'clock at night being like, hey, do this as soon as possible. And like, it's really hard to avoid too because everyone's connected this day and age. I get my emails forwarded to my phone. There's like no excuse not to answer an email or so, you know, employers think. Like, are you serious? That's ridiculous. I refuse. But then you get fired. So maybe you do it. But then you hate your boss. It's a very vicious cycle. Eight, people who don't watch TV. I guess this isn't so much of a pet peeve as it is genuine curiosity as to what you do with your free time because what is, what are you doing? What do you do? 
I, I genuinely want to know. Like, I'm envious. I don't have things to do. Which is why I do this. Nine, people who don't tell you you have something on your face. That's mean. That's really mean. Like, if I look like a raccoon, tell me. If I have, you know, spinach or pepper in my teeth, tell me. If I have bird poop in my hair, tell me. If I have toilet paper hanging out of my shoe, tell me. Like, tell me if I look crazy. I know some people will avoid doing that because they feel embarrassed, but like, think of how much embarrassment you're sparing me. If you tell me, just tell me, just tell, just tell me. But I also asked my friends what their pet peeves were, and I wanted to share them with you guys because they're kind of hilarious. So I asked, <clears throat> What are some of y'all's pet peeves? And they say, people who walk slowly, stupid people, ignorance, people who play dumb, uh, people who are overly affectionate in public, affection in general, uh, poor people, people who don't drink, people who don't respond to texts or Facebook messages, people who are always late, wink, I hope that's not directed at me, uh, people who click the Mac mouse pad when it's set to tap, mm. people who chew their gum loudly, people who chew with their mouths open, people who commit to plant and flake, what is this for? Okay, so those are some of my pet peeves. Um, let me know if they're ridiculous um, or if you can commiserate. You should list yours down below um, so we can all just bitch about things together. <laughs> Bye!